Hey, welcome everybody. This American Car Classics radio program. And it's been a long day. I'm Kenny Schofield. And with me is Steve Sharpino, Todd Byron. And this face is Rhett Riddle. I don't know if you can see him right now, but, but you should be able to. And, and Rhett's a friend of the radio. He's uh, been on a couple times before. Once, twice, maybe something? Twice. I don't think I'm yeah. on at all. I can't hear anything in my headphones at all. So uh, we're just going to keep talking and pretend I'm good. Are you good? I, can, I hear you. I hear, okay. I hear you. Okay. That's all I hear is I don't. Kenny. It's Kenny. Nope. Nothing. Yeah. So um, I'm very low. I mean, I can maybe hear something, but I'm very low. So we're going to just keep trying now. But he's so, here. There you go. So I'm on, but I'm just very low. So, all right. So sorry about that. That's what happens with radio. Yeah. So how you doing, Steve? Look, man, I could talk to you forever because you've got so much shit going on. <laughs> it just never ends, you know? <laughs> Before we started this, we said, you know, I can't find the other headphones. So Steve's going to, he's like, man, I, I would have stayed at work. I could have worked on the 57, 57 or the Chevelle, the Impala. I got the DeSoto. I got a Dodge Dakota. I got, he's got a lot. Jeep. So you I got <laughs> Chevy pickup. I got another Chevy pickup. I mean, I got cars for days. I got a Volkswagen. Have you I seen the parking lot over there? So having a holiday. I know, Todd's hogging like, the whole parking lot. Can you believe it? We're fighting over parking spots. I'm like, you know, <laughs> we're yelling at each other. I'm like, asshole, you're down here. No, no, this one's over here. No, no one's over here. And then we're like, hey, we're going to pull these cars. Oh, no. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I understand. Thank God I'm good friends with Mr. Rogers. He's a guy who owns a lot. I of know cars the dot. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you could have literally stayed at work. And, and if it wasn't for the holiday weekend, you could work right through and not have a problem. Everything's going good. He's not the only one, man. Place crazy over there. <laughs> we got no room for nothing. Well, you used I to get left. I got. I said, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to make there in time. I got here. And I'm sitting here waiting, and waiting. Well, and Bryce was comes pulling. In. Bryce was thirsty. Yeah. yeah. So, so hey, we, yeah. So well, we, we, um, we, uh, you've gotten in trouble before for parking on the sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. Which is almost impossible not to do. Yeah. I mean, they during the day. I I don't know they. they what happens is the people from the trailer park down the street, you know, that if they're intoxicated or something, they have to get to Seven Eleven to get them something. They don't like that to go around a vehicle. <laughs> I guess I don't know. And that's real too. Uh, He's not I don't know. <laughs> There's a trailer park down the street, and they got some weird people up in that place. There's yeah. some nice people in there, but there are people with some mental challenges. But Stephen like said trying that trying to get around a car. Yeah. Walking. <laughs> well, you had uh, the guy that came along and helped you out, and you didn't know his name at the end, but he brought you a beer. Yeah. You gave him 20 bucks, and he brought you a beer. Yeah. Hey, yeah. if you're going to stand there and watch me work, and I need help because I ain't got long enough hands or enough hands, <laughs> I'm going to put your ass to work. <laughs> right. That's right. all there is to it. So you guys have had a decent week so far. It's only Tuesday, but the weekend was good for you and all that. Yeah. yeah, not the enough time. Not good. enough time during the week. Yeah, rain. Rain has got us. Rain. The body shop part of it's all. We're jammed up. You know, we got a lot to get out of there by the end of the day tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm 40 miles. I'm day. 40 miles north of you, and the rain started here, and then worked its way north. So you guys had it before me, even. So. Oh, really? Yeah. All, day. It, all day. All day. And it was a good hard rain all day. All day. Yep. So we didn't really have a hard rain until the second half, but after <sighs> noon, it it came down hard and stayed hard. Yeah. So, Rhett, so you work yeah. at Route 60 Hyundai. Yes. And we got to hang out this weekend. Yes, we did. Because because your boss, Tommy, he had a uh, car show at Route 60 Hyundai. That's right. And it was uh, pretty fun. Everybody made it out, yep. including Everyone Mike, was who's there. not here right now. But uh, that opened to Mike for you to come on down and tell us uh, what your boss thought of everything. It was a rousing success. Um, Talk to me about it today. Um, everyone at work, when I came back to work, just were just thanking me for helping put together the show. What a good time they had. It was a great day. You did. It really you, was. You were the one person that was out there running around doing, and I think that the other salesman and whoever else came around and stuff was talking and looking at people as uh, mm -hmm. cars that they noticed that you you know were hustling, and you met everybody as they came in and found them a home. And it was good that, that it went smooth because um, that means that you know we, we'll be able to have it again and again and again yeah. and hopefully grow it. And outgrow the outgrow the lot and have to move on to bigger and better things. You never know. Yeah, which is what we did at, at Rib City. That's right. You know, and, That's and exactly happens, right. But but it was a good turnout. Uh, you brought your fifty or your sixty seven pickup, and you brought the sixty nine Camaro. And uh, Mike did not bring a car, but he came out for a little while. 
Yeah, so, Ron Smith came out. Ron. We yeah. saw a lot of people that we knew. Yeah. Dirty Mike, he won a uh he won the best of show with his Camaro. What year is that? Seventy? Yeah. Seventy, yeah. 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 Yep. And uh who was it that won Fred Fred? Kiesel. 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 He, he won, he won. Deal, that was um Choice. No dealer's choice was went to um that black gremlin. Um the lady with the black gremlin. Her and her husband came up with matching gremlins. Hers yeah. won. She was the original owner of that one. They were the wow. original owner of that. Okay. But what did Fred win? He won did he he didn't win best of did, did the manufacturer's or choice or yeah, Mike, yeah, Mike won best of show. So yeah, okay. Because right, that was last. What did Fred Fred He was the first one. But anyway, it was yeah. nice to see Fred win. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's got a much older what is that, a thirty what's that? Thirty old or something? Is it? I don't know. Yeah, some oldie car. Yeah, which yeah. is good to see one of them win. You know, yes. they're starting to fall off. What kind of what kind of car do you have out on the driveway? What is your tree in the hood car? Uh, yard, that's a fifty four Chevy. A fifty four Chevy. Yeah, it's a four door. No. Okay. Two door. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is ratty. Oh, I know. It's just a yard ornament. Yeah. Is there a frame under it? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's cool. I think it's got a flat tire. It's looking a little crooked. It's definitely got <laughs> But it's made to look crooked. It's sinking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's why when I came in, I passed the puddle that went right up to the grill. Uh, it was. It's pretty wet out there. Yeah, it's wet over there. It's yeah. nasty. Yeah. Boys, we got a comment here on the live stream. I believe it might be the first one we've gotten so far. And How about that? Huh. It says, Kenny is the sexiest man on YouTube. Okay. Oh, All must right. be your old, your good. woman. Yeah, I, was, I, was, <laughs> I want to say it could, it could have been my wife. You I, never I am, know. Oh, yeah. It could I am have holding my, my gut in because the because the camera adds ten pounds, right. and I've got about twenty on me extra. <laughs> nice. So I'm nice. He's got his little it. fan club now. Yeah. Nice. I've always had a fanny club, man. It's not a fanny a club. Yeah, fanny club. Deal, man. I like fanny clubs. I don't know about fan clubs, right. but fanny clubs. <laughs> well, I have an aerodynamic ass. I am not. I am not a Kardashian. Oh, that's good. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. A little more. And pro than we needed. That's yeah. I appreciate that, Bryce. I'm, I'm so, backing him up on that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, we had probably. Did you do a car count? I didn't do an official car count, but I think there's around 35 cars there. Yeah, we guessed right about that. 40 or yeah. something, right? Yeah, yeah. The parking lot was pretty full for what yeah. it was. That was uh, um, HP Productions was doing the. The uh, high performance productions mm-hmm. did the did the show with the three trophies and the and weather was good. Thank God, weather was beautiful. Yeah, it, really was beautiful. Was. it really was. Yeah, yeah. It really great was. day for our show. Yep, Couldn't Bryce and I got to go out and and film some guys doing some uh, things with their cars and stuff. Mm-hmm. We brought them over the table and and did that and turned a couple of those into some short little videos. We had a hard time with some Wi Fi. That was an issue. So uh, we're gonna get some hotspot things worked out and all that and uh, continue to improve the ability to do the uh, on site stuff. I think it adds to it and people once they started seeing some of getting done there was a little bit of a crowd a couple times and that mm-hmm. was fun you know yep. so um we wanted to get tommy on board but and and i'm saying tommy tell me tommy's last name Cherenza. because you know i'm gonna mess that all <laughs> up man Cherenza. <laughs> i wrote it, it out phonetic phonetically sounding probably it doesn't look like the way you spell his name at all i tried to spell it like, no 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 let's go phonetic yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, I'm gonna here work. let me get it for you hooked so on Steve, phonetics you didn't stay you didn't stay all day you had uh, a lot going on you brought aaron out and um you got to see everybody and talk for a while the guy next to you in that Pontiac Safari wagon. Did you look at that car? Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah, he was a nice guy. He taught me for a while. Yeah, his name was? Yep. You forget already? Um, Bryce, what was his name? We did the interview on Tom. Keith. It was Keith. So, uh, yeah. I knew this, that. This, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, this is one of 300 left. There were about 4,000 made. It's 300 or 300 left just because he said they were so much like the Nomad, but they had so much extra chrome and little lines that when you wrecked, it wasn't that popular to be able to just get parts or people didn't go to that cost to put them all back together. Yeah, he's looking to take the uh, Chevy motor out and go back to like a 389 or something like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those had more, a little more bling than the regular Nomad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had a lot more yeah. chrome and lines and stuff and everything. So, yeah, and, and 300 left out of 4,000. He says he's done homework on it and everything else, and but he's looking for a 69... GTX. Yeah. A, a uh, GTX. Plymouth? Is he on the LS yeah. that thing? Yeah. No. Good. No. Yeah. Yeah, no. That's good. You know, there's a big difference between, we talked about that last week, and you, you should have been here because we had a big question about about resto mods and and um, retro pro touring and, and, and the retro and all that stuff. And so it was, a, you know, we, you, we needed your, your help on some of that stuff. So, um, yeah, so you've been with Route 60 Hyundai Ret for... 
Um, a little over a year, year and a yeah. couple months now. It's a good place to work. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Happy to be there. This is the first car show they've done? Yes. Okay. Yep. Tommy used to uh, mm-hmm. route 60 Hyundai with his dad. Uh, they used to be a sponsor of the show way back in the day uh, when when Keith McDonald and Dick Arbitel were on it. Mm-hmm. Who, who was the other person that was on it? That Was that Dean La- Dean LaPierre? Yeah, La- mm-hmm. right. Right. You, um, you have an event coming up on New Year's Day mm-hmm. that is um, a memorial for, for Dick Arbitel. And uh, I went to the Internet looking at stuff and, and knowing all this uh, stuff was coming up as we were going to be putting the flyer out and saying some stuff about it. Um, I, I Googled Dick's name. Mm-hmm. And man, there's he's got a Twitter account, and uh, there's a cool YouTube video. It's six and a half minutes long, about a '38 Buick by a guy owned by a guy named Ron. Mm-hmm. Who is that, Ron? Do you know who? Not that? Ron Smith. No, I didn't yeah. think so. Yeah, well, somebody put a lot of money into this car. <laughs> yeah, did, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but I've never seen Dick. I, I said to you when you made the flyer, I said I'd never really seen a picture, mm-hmm. uh, at least in color and stuff. So to see this and then to see him do the video and hear him talk and describe what they did and why the coil springs in the, in the, with the Ford 9-inch and to do all that and keep it going, it was really just very, very cool to get to know him through that still. And I think it had 11,000 views, the video. <laughs> which yeah. is pretty cool. It's on YouTube. It's not seen you know, mainstream or whatever, but I, I thought that we would see that uh, nobody had a problem with that and we'd share that video with the American Car Classics page. Sure. You know, and that would yeah. be, be pretty cool. Uh, so you are having a, a cruise in that is a memorial, and this is uh, not your first one. It's, you've, you've had quite a few, and when we get back, we're going to talk about that uh, coming up because it is New Year's Day. It is only going to be, um, what is that, six weeks from now? Is that five six weeks? days? Yeah. Something like it ain't long. Yeah. It's yeah. not long. So yeah, so when we get back, we'll um, we'll talk about that. All right, hang out.